exhale. So you're a masseuse? I am. What is it that you do? I'm a poet. <laughs> and I'm a dreamer. No, really. Oh, you're really a poet? Yeah. Oh. This is Albert. Hey. Hi. Eva was just telling me there is not one guy at this party that she's attracted what? to. What? Really? <laughs> <laughs> He's kind of flabby and middle-aged. You're wearing your pajamas? I like to be comfortable. But I can see your penis. What? Oh, my God. But he's sexy to me. You want a kiss? Yeah. He here for second chances. It's good when everyone is a little older and wiser. Chances? People tell you not to take chances. How it worked today? It was good. I had that really nice woman who talks about her ex-husband a lot. He was terrible in bed, very clumsy, no sense of humor, so irritating. I just hope it wasn't my ex-wife. <laughs> um, Albert is a loser. <laughs> That new client of mine is Albert's ex-wife. I've been listening to this woman say the worst things about the guy that I'm starting to really like. When Albert and I first started dating, he made this great dish, spaghetti. With eggplant and mozzarella. But it turned out that was the only thing you could cook. Should I stay or should He's like I... a human trip advisor. Albert is not a hotel. If you could avoid staying at a bad one, wouldn't you? Should I stay or should I go? Why are you shaking that? You know how many calories are in guacamole? You're picking on him. No, I'm not. Why do I feel like I just spent the evening with my ex-wife? Oh, I swear to me, time. Hello? Albert, this is Eva. What are you doing here? You guys know each other? Uh... When people ask you why we got divorced, what do you tell them? Why? I mean, do you tell them it's because I was such a monster pain in the ass? Right, okay. Should I stay or should I go?